type coercion is an alternative to type dispatching. Coercion means converting one type into another, and some types can be converted into other types. This takes advantage of the structure in the type system. So, I could turn any rational number into a complex number, just by dividing the numerator and the denominator, having that be the real component of the complex number, and having no imaginary component. Can any type be coerced into any other type? Well, no. A complex number can't necessarily be turned into a rational number because rational numbers can't represent imaginary values. But can two numeric types be coerced into a common type? Well, yes, because all numbers are complex numbers, at least the ones that we've seen so far. So it's often the case that there's some common type that you can use to relate two different arguments. But is coercion exact? Well, not necessarily. Sometimes you lose information in the process of coercion. In particular, R was an exact representation of a fraction, so 1 divided by 3. But as soon as we perform division here, we're left with only a finite approximation to that number, which for most purposes is just fine. Okay, so coercion means taking a value and then representing an equivalent value using a different type. And that allows us to perform cross-type arithmetic using the within type arithmetic functions we already had. So here's how it works. You can define the number class over and again, so we're getting rid of the type dispatching version. And now we're saying here's how you add two things together. You coerce self and other to be the same type of thing. And then, now that you know that they're sharing an interface, you can add x and y. So we're always deferring to the add method. We're never calling a cross-type function anymore. All of the action is in coerce. Coerce says if these two things already have the same type tag, then there's nothing to do. They have the same interface, and so they can already be added or multiplied. Otherwise, we need to check if the tag for self another combination is in a dictionary of coercions. And the coercions say, I know how to convert rat to com, meaning a rational number, to a complex number. And I have to find a function, which we had on the last slide, rational to complex, to do just that. If so, then you actually invoke coerce to on self to turn it into an equivalent value of type other. Then. These two values get returned here to x and y. So now x isn't the same object it was before, but in the case of rational to complex, it will have been converted to a complex number. So now x and y are both complex numbers. They could be added together. What is coerce2? Well, it just looks up the function that does coercion from self to the other tag by looking up the type tag pair and then calling that function on self in order to perform the coercion. The last two lines of this implementation are if we want to try to convert other to the type of self, which we can do as well by looking up a different pair of tags, this time other first and then self, in the same dictionary of coercions. So here's the type coercion implementation. We just have this one coercion function, rational to complex, we have a new definition of the number class, which has addition and multiplication just involving coerce first and then do whatever the classes say. Um, coercion is, as I stated, first to check to see if these things already share an interface. If they do, we're done. Otherwise, we apply some coercion using the coerce2 function. So if we load this and we take a rational number, like 1 and 2, and we try to coerce it to a complex number. We get back the complex number, which has real component 0 0.5 and imaginary component 0. 
And just like we could add together this with another complex number, uh, let's do a representation of 1. We can also add together a uh, rational 1 half and the same thing because our system will automatically coerce this value to this value before trying to perform addition among complex numbers. But we don't coerce when we don't need to. So it's still the case that we can add a rational to another rational and get back a rational number because those two things would share the same type tag. So just a quick analysis of coercion. This also is a minimal violation of abstraction barriers, which is excellent. It does require that types can be coerced into a common type in order to perform these operations. And that's not always going to work out. So in the worst case, you have to use type dispatching. But when it's possible, it tends to be more convenient to use coercion because you get more sharing. All the operators use the same coercion scheme. So instead of having a big table that looks like this, I factor it into coercion from complex to rational or rational to complex and the original within type arithmetic functions, how to add complex numbers and how to add rational numbers, etc. And this can save you quite a bit of effort in the long run if you have many different operations and many different types.